process. Before I go to the process, let me explain Forever 7 is like a name I felt has been given to me. I never sign my work. I feel like it's a communication between me and some kind of higher intelligence. And it usually starts off with geometrics. And I deviate the geometrics into shapes and colors that I find attractive. And I try to always take the pieces somewhere where I've never been before. So these are more like footsteps, journeys that have been into the unknown. I've always wanted to travel into the unknown, not to venture where others have gone. It's kind of like a lonely path. But I don't want to end up my life living where someone else has already been. So that's... Very, very, very good explanation for what uh, Forever 7 name comes from. And um, the colors, I noticed you, you have a lot of bright colors. Yeah, passion is a very important aspect of my life. Everything that's meaningful in my life, I do with passion. It could be walking, it, it could be cooking, it could be writing. In this case, it happens to be art. But I don't particularly identify with this. I don't say, like, this is my work, this is just something that I allow to flow through me. Same with my writings. I don't really sign my writings, I don't sign my paintings. I'm just like a messenger, and I surrender to the process, and hopefully the more relaxed and disciplined, the better they become. So you take it, so you do, do you have a lot of discipline to create your art? Do you think that discipline is important for an artist? Yes. The, Picasso said there's no lazy artist. I've tried my life to disprove him, but I can't. So you, you, you have to keep going, you have to keep pushing, you can't be content with what you've done. Never be content. Keep pushing. So if you if you work a series, do you work in series? First of all, do you do series of paintings? No. Or no. Okay. I, I just I don't even know what I'm going to do when I write or when I paint. I just allow my hand to express itself, and it frequently surprises me. I, I like my hand. I don't particularly know where it's coming from, but I like my hand. I remember one of the quotes of Picasso. Picasso said as well that uh, if I knew what I'm going to do, I wouldn't do it. Would that you <laughs> apply that principle to your... Yeah, to your that, that, that makes perfect sense. It's like uh, exploring yourself through the creative process. Okay. Very good. We're working a little bit because I saw a couple of beautiful pieces in this area right here. And that, I, that's perpetual balling. It has to do with the life energy. It's good and evil. It's sensuality, it's knowledge, it's passion. Passion. Yeah, I see. I see that your 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 work has a lot of uh, passion, and you can see the textures that you use when you're doing your work. Yeah. And who is this? Uh, is it's this is just an experiment and kind of a texture thing. It's playful, comical. I am kind of a clown. <laughs> I enjoy being a clown. I, I've had. I kind of like about 53 different jobs I've had in my life, and probably the most enjoyable I ever had was a street clown. Very good. Yeah. You know, this one, can you talk about this piece? This is That's really Heaven's fascinating. That's Heaven's Garden. Um, I was actually taken to heaven when I was a child, and I was walked through a garden by a man I believe was my mother's father who died in 1919. I was in the second grade, and it was a beautiful garden. Whenever I smell roses, I'm sent heavenwards. Very interesting concept. And I noticed that you use uh, parts uh, yeah, for the go different on walks collections. And car parts, things I would find, just trying to... Um, you recycle? Do you recycle those oh, items? Yes, is that as yeah. part of the process of yeah, recycling? Yeah. Which is super important. I, I, I believe that's one of the... I, that's, I think that's why we're our, our works uh, complement a lot because we use uh, a lot of the parts that we find and people discard and throw away. This was Satan's own vacation. Everything is supposed to be flowing together. Like It's also the squirrel's master plan. It's where he hides his winter food. And now what, uh, what technique do you use for this particular painting? Uh, originally started off as digital art and then it was montage onto it and some paint. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. You want to talk about this art piece? This, this is, is very the fascinating. Of Forever Seven. Forever Seven's in the top of the corner there. Those are his parents. And it's actually called Gossip. This couple is wondering what they're talking about. They're wondering what they're talking about. 
Most of my stuff is self-portraits in one way or another. It's all about exploration, finding out who I am. Very good. And how, 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 how close are you to find who you are? <laughs> I would say another lifetime or two. I'm, oh, very good. You're yeah. like, oh, okay, that's fantastic, yeah. you know. But at least uh, you will have a, a lot of work. Uh, you're going to leave a lot of work behind and people will see it and enjoy I, I the colors. I try to leave beauty behind. Uh, I also try to amuse and provoke. Those are my two main things. I want to make people think think in ways they've never thought before, of things they would never venture into. I want to encourage them to explore the unknown within themselves, because we're all vast universes. Very good. Every well, person I meet is like the Buddha. I learn from them. All right. Mr. Uh, Forever 7, we want to thank you very much for this uh, couple minutes of your time. And uh, we're going to put this on YouTube, and hopefully uh, you enjoy it and uh, share it with your friends and, and family. Peace be to all of you. Thank you, sir.